Millennium Software has partnered with PaymentSense to integrate card payment functionality into the MAM business management software, specifically Autopart and Trader. Working in conjunction with the card machine, users are able to process chip and pin as well as contactless payments. Payments can be processed within the software's point of sale, sales order entry and the receipt of payment screens. Once set up, if you want to take a payment via payment sense, you can raise a sale as normal as if a credit card payment is being used to trigger the method of payment screen. Click on the pay sense button, then the credit card processing screen will show all available devices. All the devices will have been given a user determined alias and description to help identify them. Select the device you want to use. Then you click OK and the credit card processing screen will inform the user of the transaction's progress. As the transaction progresses, the status details on the header of the screen will mimic what the device screen shows. The user will be guided through the process via prompts. If the transaction is successful, status details on the header of the screen will reflect this. Click Quit. The user will be taken back to the method of payment screen and if the full amount has been allocated, the sales process continues as normal and the transaction is finalised. If the transaction is declined, or if there are any other issues with the connection, the device text will notify the user of the reason the transaction will be voided. Click Quit and either select an alternative method or try again, maybe using a different device or card. It's possible to refund transactions back to a customer via payment sends from either the credit note screen or as a counter sale refund. All we would need to do is raise a credit via the normal procedure. Click the pay sends button. The payment sends transaction process for the credit will then work in a similar way to the point of sale payment we did previously. The status of the transaction will be displayed on the card machine and in the transaction header. Once the credit has been authorised and the transaction completed, the status screen will reflect that this transaction was a refund. If the transaction is declined or if there are any issues with the connection, the device text will notify the user of the reason for this transaction being voided. It is possible to use payment sense when posting cash in either Autopart, Trader or the Sales Ledger. Enter your details as normal into the cash posting screen and click the Pay Sense button. The transaction process will then perform in the same way as a sale raised in point of sale or sales order processing. Pay later transactions can also be paid via payment sense in the receipt of payment screen. After the credit card transaction is completed, the card machine will print out any required receipts. The MEM business management system will then complete each transaction and the correct document containing the card transaction details will be produced. For example, an invoice, a credit or even a cash slip. There are two standard reports available for payment sends. The first report is a summary which will show the device transaction totals for each branch by date, by type of card used. The second report is a detailed report which shows all device transactions by branch, date and type of card. As part of the payment sends credit card system, the end of day report needs to be printed for each device. These specific reports are printed on the devices themselves. Thanks for watching. I do hope you found this short tutorial useful. If you would like to be kept up to date with the ongoing developments at MAM Software, then please follow us on social media, YouTube and our community portal.